All right, I'm going to import an SAT created in Rhino into Revit and um, link it so we can update it if the form changes and it will maintain its material application. So I'm going to start a new project and I am going to use a template that I've created. You can use a template of your own. Click open and click OK. And I'm going to start from the site plan. It's typically where I start when I import things. Um, the first thing we want to do is because this is an SAT file and it's going to be linked as an imported object, we need to tell Revit what it is. So in order to do that, go to the architecture tab, component pull down, model in place, and pick mass. So now it will be categorized as a mass, this object I'm about to link, and hit close. It'll give it a name. I'll click OK. And now it sends me into the mass sketch mode. And we're not going to create a mass. All we're going to do is go to the insert tab and link CAD. Now the important thing is that we're linking um, so we can reload it later. And click open here. It's going to sh align the 00 with Rhino with Revit. So I would have yours on 000 as you'd like it in Rhino. And then the import units should be correct in Rhino and they should come up in here. So I'm going to click open and it shows me that import object and I'm going to go to finish mass. Now the next thing I'm going to do is take a look at the object styles and how it's brought this guy in here. If I if I pick the mat, see how it says mass one right there, but if I go to manage and I go to my object styles, where this shows up is under imported objects and it brings it in a zero and uh, with a random material on it. So what I'm going to do is hit cancel here and I'm going to do a little thing that I'm not sure why we have to do it, but we do in order to get it to sort of separate itself out. So I'm going to go back to the insert and I'm going to go to manage links. And this is where it shows us that linked file that we have, right? So it's just telling us we've linked this. If I highlight this, go to reload from, and pick the exact same thing again and click open and click OK. Nothing changes except for if I go to the manage my object styles again and I look at my imported objects, ah, it separated that guy out as a separate export instead of this imports and families. So I can now delete this and update the material name for this. It's a little weird and I'm not sure why Revit works this way, but it does. So I'm going to right click, rename, Type in M1, and I'm going to use render appearance. So in the viewport, it'll look at the render appearance and adjust the shading in the viewport for whatever the render appearance is. And I'll just give this a different color. Click OK, click OK, click OK, boom. Now we've got that guy in there. All right, I'm going to stop this video here. And then in the next one, we'll put the second part in and update it.